We're here in Rocky Gap State Park in Maryland, Flintstone, Maryland, believe it or not. We've been driving the all new 2011 Chevy and GMC 2500 and 3500 heavy duty trucks. When GM embarked on this project, they aimed to be the best heavy duty truck in the business. And today we're gonna to tell you why. A few months ago, Ford unveiled the new Super Duty with a 6.7 liter diesel engine that was supposed to be the next coming of diesel engines. However, this 6.6 .6 liter, not 6.7 from Ford, actually produces more torque, more horsepower. Ford has 390 horsepower. Of course, GM has 397. Ford, 735 torque. GM, 765 pound-feet of torque. But that's not what this is about, because let's be honest, if you're a Ford guy, you're gonna stay a Ford guy. If you're a Chevy guy, you're gonna stay a Chevy guy. So what this is really about is validation, that if you buy a GM, you know what? Your buddy that owns a Ford wants to brag, really can't brag anymore because it's not like he's got something you don't have. You're all pretty much on a level playing field. Now what's new about these heavy duty trucks is a new chassis, a whole new diesel engine, new independent front suspension, and a new asymmetrical rear leaf spring. It also has a fully boxed frame, which helps produce 21,700 pounds of towing capacity, as well as 6,635 pounds of payload. GM is really focused on capabilities. Some of those capabilities include trailer sway control, intelligent brake assist, exhaust brake, larger 14-inch rotors, stiffer, stronger calipers, and Stabilitrack standard on all single wheel, that is non-dually vehicles. Trailer sway control is something that you're gonna to wanna to look for in any vehicle that you buy to tow, especially these heavy duty trucks. And what that does is it helps control anything that you are towing by using the actual brakes that are on the trailer. As you can see from some of the things we're doing today, towing, hauling, we had, we had a dump truck, come on. We're doing some crazy things that you would never do. It's really a commercial vehicle. However, there are a certain number of you out there that tow and haul in your recreational time, and that's great. You need a vehicle like this. You also could buy the Ford, you also could buy the, the, the Chrysler. So let me just talk a little bit more about this car. You know, as far as comfort features and whatnot, because after all, if you're gonna be driving eight, 10, 12 hours, hauling something, towing something, you, know, you wanna be comfortable. Front seats, extremely comfortable. Back seats, not so much. I'd probably give the Ford a little bit of edge on the back seat, give the Chevy GMC edge on the front seat. As far as the steering, felt really, really connected. Uh, this is by no means a sports car, but these trucks have come a long way. It used to be you get in one of these trucks, you'd be bouncing all over the place. The suspension was horrible. The suspension on these things is tremendous. It used to be the steering was just all over the place. You know, now it feels a lot more like, you know, almost like you're driving a, 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 a crossover or an SUV. There is something new for GMC this year, and that is the Denali line. So now they have something to compete with the King Ranch. That's a big step up. You know, you're going to have the leather steering wheel. You're going to have nicer seats. You know, a little of those upgrades that you know, some of you may want. And you know what? If you do, it's out there. It's got that big, bold chrome grille. Looks nice. As far as pricing goes, the all, all three are pretty much comparable. Uh, one thing the GM and GMC does that really is, uh, is a little bit odd is they have one price for the for the diesel engine and then a separate price for the Allison transmission, six-speed transmission, which is a wonderful transmission. By the way, the same company that builds a transmission for the M1 tank. You want to know that. And the problem is that those are, don't come as a package, but you cannot get one without the other. So essentially, the diesel option is about $8,400 extra, a little bit more than Ford and, uh, and Dodge Charge, but you know that's just the way it is. So bottom line on the Chevy trucks is that, you know what, we, we really do like this vehicle. We also like the Ford, really can't say that this has a superior advantage over the Ford or the Ford over this one. That's not what this is about. The bottom line here is that if you do decide to buy a GMC or a Chevy heavy duty truck, you really can't go wrong. It's gonna have more power and torque than you'll ever need. Great fuel economy, mid twenties, just without towing anything. And really has a better warranty. Whereas Ford has a 336 warranty, Chevy and GMC match that. However, there is a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, which may come in handy down the road.